Government exists only for the good of the governed. Wealth is a weak anchor, and glory cannot support a man. This is the law of God, that virtue only is firm, and cannot be shaken by a tempest. Remind yourself that all men assert that wisdom is the greatest good, but that there are few who strenuously seek out that greatest good. We ought so to behave to one another, as to avoid making enemies of our friends, and at the same time to make friends of our enemies. Number is the ruler of forms and ideas, and the cause of gods and demons. The soul of man is divided into three parts, intelligence, reason, and passion. Intelligence and passion are possessed by other animals, but reason by man alone. It is difficult to walk at one, and the same time many paths of life. The stars in the heavens sing a music, if only we had ears to hear. Learn silence with the quiet serenity of a meditative mind. Listen, absorb, transcribe, and transform. Anger begins in folly and ends in repentance. It is required to find the infinitely big inside, what's infinitely small to feel the presence of God. You should make great things, not promising great things. Bless us, divine number, who generated gods and men. Number contains the root and source of eternally flowing creation. Numbers have a way of taking a man by the hand and leading him down the path of reason. Govern your tongue before all other things, following the gods. Let no one persuade you by word, or deed to do, or say whatever is not best for you. Above the cloud with its shadow is the star with its light. Above all things reverence thyself. The highest goal of music is to connect one's soul to their divine nature not entertainment. Allow not sleep to close your eyes before three times reflecting on your actions of the day, what deeds done well, what not, what left undone. The wise man should be prepared for everything that does not lie within his control. As soon as you awake, in order lay the actions to be done the coming day. Respect gods before demigods, heroes before men, and first among men your parents, but respect yourself most of all. Be silent, or let thy words be worth more than silence. Salt is born of the purest parents, the sun and the sea. The experience of life in a finite, limited body is specifically for the purpose of discovering and manifesting supernatural existence. Don't try to cover your mistakes with false words, rather, Correct your mistakes with examination. 
Friends are as companions on a journey who ought to aid each other to persevere in the road to a happier life. Assist a man in raising a burden, but do not assist him in laying it down. If you are asked, what is the silence, respond, it is the first stone of the wisdom's temple. Man, know thyself, then thou shalt know the universe and God. Music is the harmonization of opposites, the conciliation of warring elements. The beginning of every government starts with the education of our youth. There is a good principle which created order, light, and man, and an evil principle which created chaos, darkness, and woman. Geometry is knowledge of the eternally existent. Truth is so great a perfection that if God would render himself visible to men, he would choose light for his body and truth for his soul. As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Above all, have respect for yourself. Silence is better than unmeaning words. Wisdom, thoroughly learned, will never be forgotten. Strength of mind rests in sobriety, for this keeps your reason unclouded by passion. Above all things, respect yourself. He buries gold, who hides the truth. No one is free who has not obtained the empire of himself. No man is free who cannot command himself. Choose rather to be strong of soul than strong of body. It is better to be silent than to dispute with the ignorant. Learn to be silent. Let your quiet mind listen and absorb. There is geometry in the humming of the strings. There is music in the spacing of the spheres. A man is never as big as when he is on his knees to help a child. If you have a wounded heart, touch it as little as you would an injured eye. There are only two remedies for the suffering of the soul, hope and patience. Practice restraint over the following. Appetite first, as well as sleep, lust, and anger. The oldest, shortest words yes and no are those which require the most thought. Thought is an idea in transit, which when once released, never can be lured back, nor the spoken word recalled. Having departed from your house, turn not back, for the Furies will be your attendants. Practice justice in word and deed, and do not get in the habit of acting thoughtlessly about anything. None can be free who is a slave to, and ruled by, his passions. 
The Octave formed a circle and gave our noble Earth its form.